Um, what is up you guys? This is Vega Vega 13 and how are you doing? Uh, I'm just gonna let you guys know that I'm playing on the PS3 Dragon's Dogma Dog Dark Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon. I never finished the second part of it. Uh, right now I'm just doing a few of my quests. I don't have much. My quests are to slay 45 rabbits, kill 2 ogres, kill 36 skeletons, 44 undead, 20 snow harpies, 3 cyclopses, 8 spiders, 45 undead warriors. I gotta find those because I forgot where to go. But um, like I said, I'm making this update because I haven't made a challenge, I haven't made any pranks, and that's because I got the virus, you guys, and I was in the hospital for two weeks. I was slowly recovering, but instead of recovering, it was getting worse. I was having trouble breathing, the virus literally got to my lungs instead of anything else, and what's worse, well, I thought that my kids was gonna, I thought my kids were going to have it, but thank God that, um, they're okay and I don't have to worry that much but still as a parent as a daddy as a father well you know how things are and you have to worry even if you don't want to because no matter what you're a parent and you want to protect your, your kids your babies and that's what a father is that's what I'm doing It's hard you guys I'll admit it, it, it it's hard and very frightening because I'm here trying to recover and I find out that my that one of my kids gets the virus or both of my kids gets the virus and here I go driving here driving over there trying to make them feel better trying to make them recover make sure that they don't run or jump or do anything crazy and well being a dad is it comes with a big responsibility a big package you know and I'm scared because I don't want to lose more of my kids I already lost let's not talk about that instead I already lost kids and um, and I blame myself for that. I should have done more to my, to help my ex partner, and it's my fault. And I blame myself on that part. No matter what, I I will blame myself on that part. I could have done more, but instead I just kept my arms crossed. And because of that, I regret it and and I punish myself. Even though some of my friends are telling me that it's not your fault, it's not her fault, things happen for a reason, just let it go, try to take it easy, live for them, and like I tell them, like, yeah, I want to, but something tells me if I let go, it's like if they were never even born, or never even created, and um, it hurts me that they're not here with me, it hurts me that I failed. It hurts me that I wasn't strong enough, not even for them. And that's what makes me feel like a horrible person. That makes me feel like... <sighs> uh, Alright, let's just... Let's just keep doing this, you guys, because um, um, I don't want to cry. Even though I have, like, so many things inside of me that I want to let go, but I, but I can't. Now, today is the 29th of January, sorry, of the 9th of July, and it's, I believe, let me see, let me pause this, it's the 9th of July, it's 1.37 a.m., so that makes it, what, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. 
and um, I've been having trouble sleeping that's why I'm making this video just to give you guys an update that I may or may not do any challenges right now everything's up in the roof I'm trying to recover I'm trying to be better doing my exercises my cardio exercises because while well, the virus went straight to my lungs like I said and that was no joke it, it was pretty tough for me to breathe and to be better you know there was not much I was able to do or can do because well my my heart condition I was born with a heart condition but uh, according to the SSI and to the to the health department I guess my health uh, condition is not is not that severe either because of my color my race or because of my religion I, I don't know honestly I don't know and I don't care even though I have a learning disability with my reading and writing I still push myself I still do what I can and I don't let it get to me but now that I don't have a job and I'm not doing that well I'm actually asking for the community here in the Imperial Valley to, well, and I hate to say this, but I'm asking and I'm begging for people who have jobs to let me know if there's any job leads, because it, it's tough. It's really tough, and I'm having trouble. I'm struggling trying to find a job, and I see a lot of RNs, doctors, truck drivers, and freaking, oh, uh, my favorite one, something about a RN, but going to houses to give services. Like, honestly, not everybody's a doctor, not everybody's a nurse, not everybody's a, how do you call it? Not everybody's going to have those type of degrees. There has to be other jobs besides those. And honestly, we need more better jobs here in the Valley. Because I know welding. I know gas, electric, and mag, and weld. And even the plasma torch, even though that was kind of freaky a bit when I was growing up. And I was doing that with Mr. Pritchard in Southwest. I hope wherever he is, thank you, sir, for teaching me and being patient with me. I know I was a, a a pain, but at least I became one of your top top ten students, and I'm glad that I gave honor to the class and to your teaching methods. Um, I also know security. I actually enjoy doing that kind of job. I actually enjoy. <laughs> Keeping an eye on the location. Ah, man, I died for, for my second time. Jesus. And I don't have any recitational hearts. Ah. I bet that's going to go to my score. I wonder if I have any bad reports for dying. <laughs> but, like I said, I know welding. I know security. Uh, I used to do uh, agriculture. I don't mind doing that again, but because of my, because of me getting COVID-19, I doubt that I can work back in the fields and be getting dirty and tired and all that. Yeah, I better go this way. Just fight these wolves and get better weaponry. But, uh. I just, I just want to help my family, help my kids, help my mother, because she has done a lot, and I mean she has done a lot. I feel bad that I was a burden, and, and when I was gone, she was the one taking care of my boy and helping and all that other stuff, and I, I feel like a complete asshole. I feel like a jerk because I, I left her alone with my son while she had to do her job and everything else. I, I want to I want to work because it's my turn to help her. I want to 
do. I, I want to do better. I want to be better. And I want to keep the promises I made to my kids. And I also want to say that I, I did class my semester. I don't know if it was what, three A's and one B? Or was it two B's and one, no, two B's and two A's? I, I can't remember, honestly. But um, I want to say thanks to a special lady and other people that were helping me out because they didn't give up on me and I was literally starting to give up. One of the teachers was being an ass and this was the Friday teacher because no matter what, she was always right, no matter what. Even if she was proven wrong, she's still right. She was trying to flip this, the, the questions and all that, trying to make herself like she is the good teacher and the bad teacher. I don't know, but um, it was just annoying. This is the encampment. Um, <sighs> I'm falling asleep. I'm literally falling asleep. But just to make it quick, you guys, um, I want to. I want to ask for your help. For those that live in the Imperial Valley, if there's any job leads, please help me out because just truck drivers, RNs, and whatnot. That, that's that's those, those are that's those are the skills that I don't have. I'm not a doctor. I'm not an RN. I'm not a, tr a truck driver. I'm not something like that. I'm a welder. I'm a I'm a, um, a security guard. I was a cook. <laughs> I was a fryer. I worked in agriculture. I worked in stock in the back room. I was an organizer and a seller for Hollywood Video. I'm actually asking for help for job wise. So if there's anything out there, you guys, please leave me a comment down below and I'll get back with you. And honestly, thank you for those that are helping me out. Thank you for those that are trying to cheer me up. And one more thing, I, I am scared right now because one of my friends got the virus and he was driving from Yuma and the way he told me his side of the story was that he was having trouble breathing and he had to park the car, get off the car, breathe, then drive again, park the car, breathe, and drive again. And honestly, that scared me that my friend was having trouble driving. If I was in better conditions, I actually honestly would have been with him, but then we would, probably would have gotten the virus both. And that, that, that would have been pretty hard for both of us. But um, I want to say sorry to, to some people because I know I hurt them and I want to apologize and make things better, not just for myself but for them as well because I know they need this apology, they need the, how do you call it, they need this as a way of me saying you're welcome, and I'm sorry. I know I was rude, and I wasn't really thinking about your feelings, or I wasn't really being honest with myself to you, trying to help out, listening, or staying quiet and do what we needed to do. So I apologize. For those that take this apology, thank you. And for those that don't want to, well, it's, it's up to you. I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to make you anything like that. 
I just want to live my days in peace and I want you guys to know that I'm sorry for being rude and obnoxious and for being stubborn sometimes <laughs> I would like to I want to do better and now that that said um, I'm gonna try to sleep uh, I'm not making any promises you guys because honestly like I said I'm not working I don't have any funds right now I don't have anything I'm actually going back to school and like I said I think I have three A's and one B or was it two A's and two B's <laughs> I honestly can't remember and um, I'm gonna do what I can to to get my diploma because I do want to open my own restaurant it's either my own restaurant a small one or in a small anime shop or selling jewelry because I actually enjoy carving cutting and welding and I like making figurines you know um, if I had the tools I would even sell them at my own house but I don't I don't have the tools I don't have the stuff honestly I wish I did <laughs> I would give you guys examples of the things I like to make some of them are cool some of them are creepy some of them are kooky and they're neat <laughs> the Adams family <laughs> but um <laughs> the Adams family um, but um, I'm, I'm struggling you guys and I'm trying to do this not just for myself but for my kids so I'm going to let you guys go because it's already late and I'm falling asleep I died already this is my second time dying on the game and I don't remember what am I supposed to be doing I'm just doing side quests for the moment but uh, I'll, I'll just call it a night but for all of those that know me and that have seen me and have heard me in videos and all that stuff uh, like I said I can't promise you that I'm gonna make any videos or challenges or pranks but I'll do what I can to let you guys know how am I doing and how things are going but if I do make any videos and the quality is bad I'm sorry I apologize it's just that you know it's, it's it's a bit hard it's a bit difficult and there's a lot of things that are going in my mind and also I'm writing a book uh, I won't give you the name of my book or anything because it's still up in the air but hopefully I can publish it and sell it I'm thinking of making three books in total hopefully they're a success and people enjoy them um, but for the meantime you guys are just gonna have to wait and see how it comes out <laughs> I'm back going to my drawings so I'm trying to look for a good logo and for a good design for my book but for the meanwhile you guys are just gonna have to wait I don't know how long it's gonna take maybe a year or two maybe three or four you know writer's blog and all that other stuff but for the moment just be patient hopefully once my first book comes out it gets acknowledged and it gets accepted and somebody would like to buy it and well we'll see how things go now if you guys excuse me Vega 13 is going to rest going to sleep because I need it and I think it's time for me to go to bed so this guy so you guys this was Vega Vega 13 thank you for listening and I'm sorry for for any misunderstanding or any inconvenience sorry if I haven't made any videos and um, I'm gonna keep on pushing myself but not too hard because I don't want to fall back and get the virus again or or my kids because I don't want them to have it either I don't want to lose my kids and they're my reason for me to push myself even though there's times I want to give up and cry and be in a fetal position but like I said I can't do that I'm a 
dad and I'm glad that my son opened my eyes a little bit knowing that there's still hope in humanity and I'm proud and I'm glad that I'm a dad you know alrighty guys this was Vega Vega 13 I'll see you guys on the next video and wish me luck and hopefully if you guys know of any job leads let me know thank you and have a good night